Hey, I hope everybody's having a good day out there today. Please excuse the mic because I'm actually recording this on a uh, MacBook Air that I just purchased. I want to get it cleaned up and probably go ahead and throw a, uh, a Linux distribution on it. But I wanted to go over some things. I had some people in my comments from my previous couple videos going, what was going on with the AUR and viruses and malware? And what I wanted to do was kind of do this video to kind of give you a heads up of what was out there and at the same time show you how to safely download from the AUR. Now there's not a hundred percent way of protecting yourself, but I'm going to show you things to look for when you go to the AUR to download and things to say, okay, there's a red flag. I may not download that package. So this happened a little over a week ago. Arch Linux pulled some AUR packages that installed chaos rat malware and what a rat is is basically remote access trojan they pulled three different packages that were in the arch user repository uh, it was librewolf dash fix dash bin firefox dash patch dash bin and zen browser dash patch dash bin and they were all uploaded by the same user danik pappas and it was on july 16th the packages were removed two days later by the Arch team after being flagged by the community, which is great. The community that's around this keeps track of everything, and when they hear certain things, they go in, they inspect code, and they come back and go, hey, there's a problem here, let's lock it down, let's get rid of it, and let's keep it from everybody else. And it states here, on July 16th at around 8 p.m., a malicious AUR package was uploaded and warned the AUR maintainer said, hey, it's out there. We need to get rid of it. Two other packages were uploaded a few hours later, and they were installing a script coming from the same GitHub repository that was identified as a remote access Trojan. Now here, when you go to uh, the AUR, this is the information on it, okay? And basically, it tells you the submitter, the maintainer, and the last packager. And then down here, you've got votes, you've got popularity, and then you've got first submitted and the last submitted. Now, keep your eye on those because we're going to come back to those because I want to show you something to pay attention to when you're using the AUR and how you can make sure that you are safe. And basically, if you're out there, you know that the AUR is where us Arch Linux folks can go and, and we can download and build the package and be able to have the application on our computer that's not available in the regular repositories. But it does say, however, like many other packages, the AUR has no formal review process, which means the community is the one that keeps their eyes open and checks it out and says, hey, there's something wrong here. We need to get it taken care of. Now, each of these packages, the LibreWolf, Firefox, and the Zen Browser, all contained a source entry in the package build called Patches that pointed to the GitHub repository under the attacker's control, which was github.com slash danikpappas slash zenbrowser dash patch dot git. And then it pulled the rat into the build. Now, Instead of it being a legitimate patch, the GitHub repository contained the malicious code that was executed during the building process. And then it came back over and they said there was a Reddit account that began responding to various Arch Linux threads promoting these packages. So they uploaded them to the AUR and then they went into the Reddit and started promoting, hey, you need to go download these, blah, blah, blah. And they were posted by an account that was dormant for years and likely it was comprised just to spread the malicious packages. Arch users on Reddit quickly found the comment suspicious with one of them uploading components to VirusTotal which detect it as Linux malware called Chaos Rat. Now, what is a Chaos Rat? These are the ones you hear about all the time with businesses and, and other computers that are generally Windows based. Uh, but just today, they announced that the U.S. Department of Justice seized 20.2 Bitcoin, which is $2.4 million, linked to a chaos ransomware group now subject to forfeiture and potential addition to the strategic Bitcoin reserve. So they're, they're keeping an eye on it, and they're trying to keep this money from getting into these guys' hands. But that's what a chaos rat is. It gets in your system and basically takes it over and says, hey, you pay us this amount of money, we'll give you your computer back. Well... The people over at the Linux AUR or the Arch User Repository said, hey, we found it, let's stop it. And hey, if you have downloaded these, let's get it off of there and get it 
away from your PC or go into a, a backup that may have been done already uh, prior to you installing these and just refresh that on your PC and keep moving, which makes things a lot easier, especially if you're using something like Time Shift or something of that nature. Now, what I do want to go back here is I want to go back up because when you go to the Arch user repository and you pick a package, you get something that looks like this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the AUR and we're going to look at something comparable. This is a DaVinci Resolve package that is maintained by Mufflone and his last packager was Mufflone, so it's been the same guy. But if you look right here, you've got boats. You've got 159 boats, which means people have downloaded it and they're happy. This one only had two. And then if you go back over here, popularity of 3.48. This one had a popularity of, popularity of 1.95. And then this is the most important part when you go to download something from the Arch user repository. Look down here at first submitted, last updated. Now somebody that's been in the community for a while, that's been on the Arch user repository for a while and has a, a good standing, is somebody that's been on there. This gentleman first submitted back in 2017, and he last updated in 2025. And it shows you everything down here, dependency-wise. But this lets you know that this has been a member of the community for eight years, and he has a good popularity, and he has a good rating. Now, if you go back over here and look where this came from with this Chaos Rat, first submitted 716, 2025, last updated 716, 2025 and it's the exact same time so when you go to the arch user repository what you really want to look at is how long somebody's been in the community what their popularity in votes might be and that there's some time here from being first submitted to last submitted especially with something like firefox something that's been around forever if this is a trusted source this guy will have been submitting and maintaining for quite a while now, what you may have an issue with is with something like the Zen browser that hasn't been around as long as Firefox. You want to come down here and look at this as well. Even if it's only been around for two or three years, if somebody first submitted it three years ago and they're still maintaining it to this day, and it's been three years and they've got a decent popularity and a decent amount of votes, you're safe there. But if you go over and you find a piece of software that you want to get and it's you know been uploaded in the last couple days and it, it, you know, the popularity is not there and the boats aren't there. Don't put it on your system. That's just a, you know, that's common sense 101. Linux is definitely a lot safer than Windows, but there are going to be malware threats. Now that it's getting more popular, there's going to be people that try to sneak into things like the Arch user repository. Just know as a computer user and as a Linux user that if you're going to do something like that, make sure you take the time to go over to the Arch user repository because what you're going to have is you're going to have people that get into the, the, the Pac-Mans and stuff like that in Manjaro and not pay as much attention. You need to just go over to the website yourself, the aur.archlinux.org, look up the package you're wanting to download, verify that it's been around for a while and maintainers got good standing in the community so you don't get caught with something like this. Somebody that posts something one day uh, on the same day, doesn't have a good rating, and you're going to trust it on your PC, I wouldn't do that at all. Hey guys, if you got any good information out of this, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you all, and I will see you in the next video.